That's cool. Yeah, I will definitely do that. get Pebble vibes. <laughs> Light rock. The new genre. Pebble. <laughs> Light rock. Light rock. It's Pebble. That's hilarious. And now, number one on the Pebble chart. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us. That's Alexis. That's Bert. And today, we are doing something that's not going to do any views. Okay. I'll tell you right now. All right. This is strictly for me. Okay. It's cool. All right. It might do a few. Not a lot, though. <laughs> this guy, Tony Carey, is a great song. Mm -hmm. And you like stories in yeah. songs. Mm -hmm. And he's a decent singer, good okay. singer. And... It's just, it's one of those songs that I remember that didn't get a lot of airplay, like, around here, but it was such a good song. And when you talk to people, they go, oh, my God, I love that song. What genre is this? It's kind, it, hmm. it's kind of rock. Okay. Like a light rock, you would say. But it's it's more about the so story. Like a pebble. A pebble. <laughs> Mom joke number three. That one was the best one. <laughs> that's a really... That you, one was good, though. Did you just come up with that? Yeah, I did. Uh, okay, that's very funny. That one was good, though, right? That's great. A bevel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got me. That's great. That's good. So, yeah, uh, the genre is pebble. Uh, not free pebbles or... or Pebbles from Bam Bam. Oh, gosh. Uh, but it, it just, this is a cool story. Okay. And it, it was always, I love this. And yeah. uh, what was funny was, so backstory real quick. Uh, so there's an artist called Pat, his name's Pat Travers. Okay. So Pat Travers was this guy. He did, um, uh, he was uh, big in the 70s and 80s. <clears throat> and he's the one that... Uh, I did some work with in Orlando, did quite a bit, uh, uh, streaming way back when early Facebook, I built an app, um, kind of hacked Facebook and where I could live stream shows mm. on Facebook way back then. And so I actually had Pat had his own show and call in show that we were streaming on Facebook oh, okay. before Facebook was streaming video. Okay. And we were doing live streaming. Yeah. I was a good programmer at that time. And anyway, uh, so Pat, uh, he took me to see, he took me to meet Iron Maiden because the drummer for Iron Maiden was Nico McBrain, which used to be Pat's drummer. Okay. So Pat, he hadn't seen Nico in a while, and I posted those pictures on our on our thing, and it was funny because I grew up listening to Pat. Yeah. So then it's like all of a sudden I'm working with Pat, uh, and then I'm driving me and him to Tampa. To go see Iron Maiden, so I'm driving with Pat Travers, which was surreal for me. Yeah, this no is kidding. a guy that I grew up. No kidding. All the people that will know, uh, we'll we'll actually do a Pat Travers too. Wow. But I'm driving with Pat Travers to go see Iron Maiden, to go meet Iron Maiden, and it was. I've told that story where uh, when we get out of the when we get out of the truck, and people recognize Pat and they're like, yeah. "Oh my God, Pat Travers!" And Pat takes pictures with him, and I'm like, "I'm Birch. I'm I'm Birch. I'm." I'm with him. And it was just, it was really bizarre. Yeah. So one of the odd other odd things is this guy, Tony Carey, I had mentioned about this song. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was a great song. And he go, Tony Carey was Pat's keyboardist back in the wow. mid-70s. Wow. There, it was just like 12 like a small degrees. circle. Yeah, it was yeah. 12 degrees of Kevin Bacon, but with Pat Travers. Jeez. It was crazy. So... Anyway, I want to That's do this. That's cool. It, it is really cool. And it was it was just one of those weird, like... Like, whoa, so, mind-boggling type things. So I just wanted to do this one because I love this song and I love this video and I, I'm, it's a good story. Cool. So it's interesting. Sweet. So if you like this reaction, give us a like, subscribe, and... Click the bell. That we get notified every time we upload a brand new video. Okay, here we go. A fine, fine day. It is a fine day.
just go for a ride, have a look around. He took off his fedora, stuck his fingers in the crown, and he pulled out twenty dollars and he laid that money down. And he called out to a taxi cab, take me down to Central Park, and keep that meter running to the twenty dollar mark. And he kept his eyes turned forward and he sat up straight and tall, and no one even noticed him. You just cut it off like that, huh? Yeah. Just said, skirt. He has a very good voice. I like his voice. Is it a good voice? Yeah. yeah he's no, a good he's looking a, guy, I think. Yeah, right? he's a good yeah. singer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was, I was like trying to, at first I was like, it sounds like he's talking about jail or prison. You know, like mm-hmm. you served your time, your hard time. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, well, maybe not though. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> I was actually at about. the very front where where he um oops. yeah where he's reading the paper right and he's released from jail right and the money's still missing yeah right so well now they're never gonna know where it is because <laughs> it just killed Ex- them exactly stupid it's stupid gosh people give my money <laughs> but, wow no that was a great storyline song isn't that interesting yeah. it's like a little mini movie right 
So what what drew you to that song so much? I actually saw he did a live version on a show called Solid Gold. Okay. Which was like this dance show kind of variety type gimmick. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you had like all the stars that would come and do a song on uh, Solid Gold. Okay. And he did this song on Solid Gold. Yes, I'm outing myself for watching Solid Gold. Trust me, it's going to come up in the comments. Uh, I like Solid Gold. So, but he did this song. I went, wow. And then it came out. We didn't have MTV because mm-hmm. we didn't even have cable here. Gotcha. And so, but they used to have this thing on regular network. I think it was on ABC called Friday Night Videos. Okay. And they played this video. And I went, that's yeah. the song. And it, it made sense to what I had heard. Yeah. And I, but I just, I liked his voice. Yeah, I just, yeah, it just resonated There was with something you. good about his voice that I really liked. And I liked the, the whole song in general. Right. So are there other songs by him that you like too? No. Oh. No. <laughs> I bought the album and I did like them. Really? Yeah, it just, it, it wasn't good writing. Like huh. to me, it wasn't very yeah, good. Yeah, that's not. It, it, it was okay. I wonder if it was like, you know how sometimes like people, I don't know if it was like this back then, but like now, like they'll sing a song, but they may not have written a song. Um, yeah, no. He, so, like, he, he could have sang, like, this could have been someone else's song that he sang. And then the rest I, were his I follow, songs. I follow you what like, you're saying, uh, and you're like, no. No, yeah. actually, he, he did write it. Oh, okay. Um, it was just, it, the rest of it, it was okay. It wasn't that, and it was, it's, and part of my problem is, I, I do, I have, when you set the bar like that, for yeah. me, that it hits... Right. That Because re- right. I love gangster movies. Yeah. I love The God. You ever watch The Godfather? Yes. I love The Godfather movies. I like Casino. <laughs> I like Goodfellas. I like all that all stuff. Like right? Yeah. Scarface. I love all that stuff. You know what Scarface yep. is? So, well, you're a Miami fan. So, but <laughs> I love all that stuff. And so when this comes out and I'm like, yeah, I just see that movie and I'm like, yeah, it right. just resonates with me. There you go. So, but... So that may have skewed, like, maybe I was looking for something more. Right. I bet if I listened to it now, it would probably be. But back then, I was very. Well, maybe you should just see. I just could. I will. You will? I'll listen to it this week. You should. I will. Should. You should. It's good. <laughs> should and could. I would. Could have. good. Yeah. That too. But I will this week. <laughs> I will actually listen to that album and see. But I Just out of curiosity. Yeah, to see if I just didn't give it a fair shake. Yeah. Because I've done that. We know. <laughs> I'm prone. We know. I, I, much, I was much more prone to it then. Really? Yeah. If yeah. You, you I'd better. say try it and see. That's a great, that is a fantastic idea. What I will do I that. Say? She's awesome. Just. And then if, if yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I will definitely do that. get Pebble vibes. <laughs> Light rock. The new genre. Pebble. <laughs> Light rock. Light rock. It's pebble. That's hilarious. And now, number one on the pebble chart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Oh, gosh. That's so funny. I am trying Number to one think. with a bullet. I mean, it does kind of sound like alternative. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's, uh, he was just, it was, it was a different kind of vibe for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. And I just liked it, so probably won't do anything, but it's cool. There you and go. And so, so the people who like that song are going to go, oh, my God, I can't believe you did that. And the people that skipped this video missed out on the punchlines. Yeah. So if you watch this Comedy far. Comedy comes at the end. At this, if you watch this far, <laughs> good job. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right? And if you like this reaction, give us a like, a subscribe, and. Click the bell. That way you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. And it's a fine, fine day. For a subscription. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> that was good slither in there. That's what I'm known for. Yep. I slither. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so Ew. much for joining us. <laughs> My wife's going to go, oh. Ew, why'd you say that? Yeah, snakes. Uh, <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us. That's Alexis. That's Bridge. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Later. Bye.